Hello, my name is David Gaskin. This is my second video about Whole Food. If you see my first one at the end, you heard me say that if John Mackey didn't reach out to me, I would be making another video. So, he never reached out to me. But, before I go any further, there's some people I would like to take time for, for helping me. I would like to thank them for helping me. First person on my list is Senator Chuck Schumacher. I want to thank you for the assistance you've given me now, you and your people. I want to thank Senator Cousins for, for helping me and sending me over to Westchester Disability on the Move. I want to take time out to thank Congressman Elliot Ingalls for the legal advice you gave me. And I want to thank the Attorney General of New York for calling me. I also would like to take the time out to thank Westchester Disability on the Move for reaching out and helping me get through this. For all you people that are helping me, I want to say thank you. Now with that being said, at the end of my last video, I asked John Mackey to reach out to me. Apparently this man is worth a hundred million dollars and he couldn't spend a couple of pennies to get on the phone and call me. So now, we're going to talk about all the discrimination I had to deal with while I was at Whole Foods. And like it was told to me while I was there, don't take it personal, it's business. So now I'm telling you as I drop your name, don't take it personal, it's business. Okay, let's start, <clears throat> excuse me, let's start with Chris Plaza, STL, store manager. When I wanted to apply for the bakery position, his words was, I got some concerns about your disability if you could do the job. Never once did he give me a chance to do the job, nor apply for the job. Then I decided I wanted to apply for the prepared food supervisor. Once again, Chris Blazer brought up my disability again. Talking about, I don't know, what's your disability if you could do the job. Make a long story short, that's discrimination, Chris Blazer. So now I will hold you and Whole Food for that one, with all the help I have now. But let's not leave out my TL, Emmanuel. Not only did he say he had a problem with my disability, but he took a step further and said, I have a problem because I can't put you to work on Friday because I'm Muslim. I go to Juma Services on Friday, but I've been reaching out to some Muslim brothers and we're thinking about protesting Whole Foods because of that. But it didn't stop there. It's funny how Chris Plaza brought up my disability and him and Emmanuel brought up my disability and about me being a Muslim, I can't work on Friday. But when the scheduling was being made, they never once took consideration my disability. So let me give you an example. Schedules are made, Chris Plaza signs off on them. I should have printed them out to show you now, but I have them. Everything I'm telling you, I have emails. I have recaps in my own personal email. But getting back to the scheduling, when the schedules were made, Emmanuel, my TL, and Monet, my ATL, they made sure they had seven to eight people when they closed that store at night time. And when I closed, I only had four to five people. And if somebody called out, that means I only had three people, plus myself. So this went on for a couple of weeks, almost three months. I brought it up to Chris Plaza because people was um, recapping me on my job performance. Things wasn't getting done. So I said, okay. Sat down with Chris Plaza and once again, Angela Figueroa and went over the schedule and I highlighted so they could see where my team leader and my ATL had a full crew to close at nighttime. Excuse me. Had a full crew to close at nighttime and not me. When this was brought up to Chris Plaza by Angela Figueroa, his quote words was, I'm thinking about labor costs. But it was funny if I was a supervisor, you were thinking about my disability. Now that I became a supervisor, you're thinking about labor costs. Naturally, I had to remind them, when they recruited me from Vessin, Access VR, 
They knew I had a disability to begin off with. That's one. Two, when they put me on FMLA, I personally gave Angela Figaro and HR paperwork from my doctor stating my restrictions. I ain't going to tell you how many times I was pulled in the office for work performance, even though they never, never once did they respect those letters from my doctors stating my restrictions of what I can do and what I shouldn't be able to do. But getting back to the scheduling, after it was all said and done, and Chris made that comment about course labor, Angela decided that it would be beneficial when the schedule was being made that I, David, the supervisor, was sitting on this schedule to make sure I had enough people to close that store. Not to mind you, there's four people in leadership in the kitchen and I was closing three times a week. Doesn't seem right to me. But not only did that have a, not only did I have a problem with that, I had a problem one day, my team leader Maggo decided he wanted to change the schedule on my day off. I get up, I get get up and go to work. I'm in the kitchen at 5.30, my normal time. And I have another team member that came in at 6, 6.15, 6.30 to remind, and, and reminded me, or he didn't remind me, he just informed me that I wasn't on the schedule for the day, but according to the schedule I had printed out, I was supposed to be working. Make a long story short, I go to the board where the new schedule was posted and I wasn't on the ship. I called the manual. He said, yeah, I took you off. I need you to come in at 2.30, you can go home. Okay, I punched out. I went home. But I didn't go to bed. I got on the phone and called the tip line. Now, the tip line gives you a number, which I have. And to make a long story short, I got called back into the office by Angela and Chris Plaza. And Angela tried to tell me, well, we're going to pay you for four hours. Hmm. I must have stupid written on my forehead. So I had to let her know when I told the tip line. I will get paid for eight hours. But according to the rules, my team leader was supposed to call me on the phone and inform me of this scheduling change. Now, it's funny. Nobody called me. But they know how to call me on my days off. They knew how to call me to come in early. They knew how to call me to ask me to stay late. But all of a sudden now, you forget to call me to tell me that you changed the schedule. Now, being that I had to deal with all of this nonsense in Whole Food, and being that Jack, John Mackey refused to turn, return my phone calls, which is only a couple of pennies to him, like I said previously, his net worth is $100 million. I did my research. My attorney did their research. He had somebody named Diane Granson call me from Jersey, and this is the kicker now. When she called me last week, the people that was with me asked me to put it on speakerphone. So all that clicking that you heard, Diane, that's exactly what was going on. So they could hear you say, and I'm gonna quote you, I can't tell you not, no, we can't tell you not to post no more videos. We're just asking you post no more videos. But you also went on to say, how can I help you resolve this situation? And when I told you what I thought was a reasonable way to resolve it, you told me, I don't know. So let me tell the people what I said and let the people decide if I'm right or wrong. When I was asked how to resolve this, so I don't make no more videos, I said, I'll tell you what, pay me the two and a half months that you didn't pay me through separate, give me unemployment, I'll relax. I only want what's mine, what's due to me. Because John, you made money off my back. You made money off of me. I should have a right to get a piece of that back. I'm not asking for millions of dollars. I'm asking for two and a half months of money that you people didn't pay me. And I'm asking for unemployment. Well, Diane had the nerve to tell me, well, we can't pay you for time loss. But go and apply for unemployment. Now, the people that were with me heard you say this. So what you think I did today? They took me down to file for unemployment. And we did. We did. But I also asked you, Diane, why can't I have my time that Whole Food is holding, my PTO? 
I'm going to leave. You don't want to pay me. Why don't you give me the money that you owe me? You say, quote, words, I'll call you Friday. And I said, okay, call me before 12 because I'm going to June services or call me after 3 when June services is over because I sit on the board of one of the mosques here in New York. One of my responsibilities is to get the money to the bank. But that's another story. Did you call? You didn't call, Diane. So you in the same category as I put Angela, Miriam, and all a bunch of liars. Whole food is famous for saying one thing and doing the opposite. So, let me tell you what I'm going to do. Because I'm a man of my word. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. My videos has been going to channel 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, 12, 41, 47. And I'm going to send this one to CNN. But I can guarantee you from the legal advice I'm getting from these people. My next video is going to call some outside agencies into Whole Food. Because we're going to discuss prepared foods. That's right. We're going to discuss what goes on in prepared foods. I have pictures which I've shown the people. So they know I'm telling the truth. Now, legally you can't touch me. Because I've only been advised as long as I don't tell no lies, it's not defamation of character. And I never signed a consent form. But I can guarantee you this much. My next video on prepared foods, you're not going to like. And I can guarantee you the people that see it are not going to like. So you might as well get on the phone and call your shareholders and tell them they may lose some money. Because if I'm going to take a loss, I'm going to make sure you take one too, John Mackey. Like I said, you should have manned up and called me. It wouldn't have killed you. You got plenty of money. But you chose not to. And as far as all the names I mentioned, Chris Plaza, Monet, uh, Emmanuel, don't take it personal. This is business. Like you used to tell me when I was there. Nothing personal. Business. This could have been resolved. But hopefully don't want to follow their own core values and do the right thing. So since you don't want to do the right thing, for anybody listening to this video who's been done wrong by Whole Food, reach out to me. We will set up a protest. I will call some Muslim brothers I know from here to Texas, Florida, Georgia. And we will protest Whole Food because of the injustice and the discrimination they have put us through. And on that note, I want everybody to have a blessed day. I want to thank Senator Schumacher, Senator Cousin, Congressman Elliot Engels, the Attorney General. And I want to thank Westchester's Disability on the Move for the help you give me. I appreciate it. I really do. On that note, Wait for my next video. It's going to be a nice one. All about prepared foods. Have a good day.